Hi guys and welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions. Today we're going to be looking at Yellow Jacket. And if you're not familiar with the history of Yellow Jacket, then let's just have a look at the history right now, before we have a look at the character within the game. So Darren Cross is the Yellow Jacket that is depicted in the game. Darren Cross was created by David Michelini and John Byam and first appeared in Marvel Premiere issue 47 in 1979. Since realising that he was suffering from a rare heart condition, Darren Cross underwent a radical surgical procedure. Dr. Erica Sodem implanted an experimental but sophisticated neurologic pacemaker in order to prolong Cross's life. However, Cross's implant increased the size of his entire circulatory system and as a result it mutated his body. With the heavy toll brought on by the implant, Cross had to undergo a conditionous lapse. Cross had to undergo a numerous amount of heart transplants, and since an ordinary human heart could not sustain his augmented body, Dr. Sodahim found her work with Cross incredibly difficult. Whilst this was happening, Sodahim was being trailed by Scott Lang, a man who had stolen Hank Pym's Ant-Man suit in order to save Sodahim, who was the only person who could perform the life-saving surgery on his daughter Casey. Cross battled Ant-Man and died from the result of stress caused to his heart. The company was later taken over by Darren's son, Augustine, and his brother, William. In the Return to Life story arc, it was revealed that Augustine Cross, the son of Darren Cross, inherited Cross Technological Enterprises and put his father's body in suspended animation. At one point, Augustine kidnapped Dr. Eric Sodom and forced her to operate on the body of his father and transplant another stronger heart inside his body. The heart came from Casey Lang, Scott Lang's, aka Ant-Man's daughter. The theory was that her heart could take on the stress of Cross's body because it was exposed to pin particles. Reluctantly, Sodom agreed and put a new heart inside Cross's body. Casey received a new heart of her own as well. Cross soon stood up and eventually fled the scene after a battle with Scott Lang, aka Ant-Man. Darren Cross makes an appearance in the 2015 film Ant-Man. He appears as the lead villain as Yellow Jacket, portrayed by Corey Stoll. In the film he uses a variation on Hank Pym's Ant-Man armour. This version of the character is a former childhood protégé. And he's seen conspiring with Hope Pym to betray Hank and lock him out of his own company. But enough talking and let's have a look at Yellow Jacket in the game Marvel Contest of Champions. So here's the character within the game. You can see that it's got this kind of wasp like a, a look. It's got these kind of long kind of like pointy things obviously that, sh that kind of like shoot lasers. But they look very similar to the um, like legs uh, and feelers of a, of a wasp. So that's pretty cool in any case. The suit is obviously reminiscent of the Ant-Man film. And the bio, let's have a look. Uh, after learning the science behind Hank Pym's astonishing shrinking suit, the ruthless tech mogul Darren Cross devoted his resources to creating a prototype suit with similar abilities. Cross envisioned that his high-powered cybernetic rig as a means to take modern warfare to a new level. Personally, overseeing its retrofitting and weaponization, Cross dons the, uh, the imposing armor himself in hopes of achieving final victory as Yellow Jacket. Um, yeah, I mean, not so much kind of close to what we've, what we've just learned, but still, it works out. Special attacks, biosting blast, biosting blast, um, even, um, really kind of like gets that power, that power sting. Um, in place, actually, all three really get the power sting. But the advantage advantages with the um, the sting being, if the opponent hits out the special attack, they're going to get damage. is really cool, and uh, can really really help turn the tide. And I'll I'll show how you can effectively use this character uh, within certain aspects of the game because a lot of people give this character a lot of stick as well as Ant Man. But I think it's all about how you use the character to its best ability. When it comes to a signature ability, obviously as we've discussed, power sting, I've got it up to level 40, which is two duplications. That is pretty cool in any case, and really does kind of add extra 
um, a bioelectric shock uh, for an increased amount of seconds, which I thoroughly enjoy using against my enemies. Synergy bonuses, well, obviously Nemesis has got to be uh, Ant-Man. The rival comes in with regards to Ultron, and uh, that is kind of like a shout to Hank Pym creating Ultron, so that's pretty cool in any case. Uh, Scott Lang's Ant-Man, that is, um, rather than Hank Pym's. All in all, great character. Having second times duplication on it has meant that it's a more effective fighting force. But let's put it into some gameplay where we're utilising the special abilities more. So we're up against a Magneto Marvel. Now we get hit by the Magnetized, but it's not going to stop us any kind of way. I'm trying to build up the first special attack. He tries to hit for a block breaking attack. It doesn't pay off. Obviously my masteries are good. They're certainly better than they were so I'm able to kind of pick up things like parry and whatnot. So now that I've got a, a gap, I've hit him with a power sting. I then block up and I'm going to swipe back and wait for him to make a move. Now as soon as it goes Boom, there we go, hit with a stun and then we can hit back in again. I'm going to double that out by putting in three more power stings, I'm going to block up again. I know it's going to hit the third special but look at Magneto's health bar after he plays his third special attack. Boom, we hit half health down but there we go, the power sting is coming to effect and he's managing to get a bit of damage. I'm going to build up now to my second attack and then hopefully we'll be able to finish off. We get the parry, fantastic. And if we can just absorb, just to showcase the special attack from the second one. Come on, I want you to hit me. I want you to hit me. Come on, hit me, hit me. So we get special second special attack, similar to the first one, but the second one is more powerful, and as a result, we get some decent damage there. So that's how to use power sting effectively. Following that fight, just to highlight the main points of of using power sting. Do try, and as soon as you've hit in the power sting, don't go on the offensive. Swipe back, let the power sting run its course to the point it can hit a stun. When it hits that stun, hit in again, apply a second power sting. Or apply a, apply a second, uh, second special attack to get a more increased damage and power sting. The choice is yours, but uh, that's really how you should play that character within that circumstance. Now let's go on to try and see if we can get the third special attack to be shown. The Bio Sting Barrage. So here we are against the Thor. Oh, we're kind of mismatched at the moment. I think the ratings are higher. Hopefully we can pull off a, a win. But mainly trying to kind of build up for that three star attack. We get hit badly by the parry as well with the armor break. Man, that's not a good start. Um, Oh, oh, Thor's very good when it comes to uh, hitting stun attacks um, and that could be damn Daniel for us indeed so there we go building up there being cautious and passive as much as possible nearly there at the three third special attack right hitting the third special attack now this one here just have a look at the health bar of Thor go down it's not impressive it's not good at all Third special attack is really meant to be more devastating, and I feel Yellow Jacket is far from it. The power sting there gets hit, and it's a good hit. Uh, we lose the combo, but not the end of the world, as we've got this guy on the ropes, hitting through for the last flurry of attacks, and then we pick up the win. So, third special attack, not good at all. That's one thing that's very bad about the character. So, what are my thoughts on Yellow Jacket? Well, uh, reasons for it being in the game not good. The only reason it's in the game is in order to go hand in hand with Ant-Man. Having just two synergies is, is alright but it means that it's mainly for a arena team than a questing team. The advantage advantages about the character is uh, well the power sting. Power sting is fantastic. Third special attack is terrible but having an effective use of power sting is very important especially if you can use first and second special attacks more you can really wear down your opponent hitting to that point where if they hit a special attack they're gonna feel the damage if 
on the other hand they don't hit that special attack you will then be able to utilize stun which then as soon as the power sting finishes boom right into the stun and that's where you make your move if you then can go from a point where you've put your first special attack in then the you get that stun after the power sting, sting finishes you're then putting in uh, a second attack straight after um, you can avoid getting hit for a large amount of time if you play it well so yellow jacket is good in the right hands bio again kabam never get bios right and i'm always very critical about those bios that's not t well saying that the bio was quite good it wasn't as good as i was hoping it was going to be um but still there you go you can have everything health points wise pretty darn terrible attack points wise pretty darn terrible again compared with others of the same rank um not brilliant all in all i do recommend this character if you can utilize that power sting correctly then you'll like this a lot of people have said that they've sold this character or they don't use this character but maybe you should give it a chance and maybe use those power stings more it's especially better as duplicated so if you've got a three star duplication maybe train on that one anyway thank you very much for watching this video please leave a comment below of what champion i should review next with a little bit of comic book history of course and as always i have been rich the man and please subscribe like and as always i shall catch you on the flip side bye bye oh hello thank you for watching that video subscribe here watch my other material here and get out of my bathroom you dirty rotters Привет! До свидания! Subscribe to Rich the Man! Now where's my fucking money, bitch?